Hi, I'm Steph from 510 and I'm here today to talk through the different types of rock climbing shoes and what they're best suited for. As you can see, we've got a few shoes here with us today. We have what we term a relaxed shoe, uh, a moderate shoe and an aggressive shoe. So if I was to start with the relaxed shoe, normally a relaxed shoe tends to have a non-aggressive heel. So you can see the rand on here, it's not pushing the foot too far forward. It's also got a leather upper, so leather tends to stretch a little bit. When you try these on in the shop, if you get a quite snug fit, you should be quite confident they'll stretch about half a size. The relaxed fit, this is gonna offer a little bit of flexibility. So on less steep ground, on slabs, this is gonna give as much surface contact as possible to help your grip. Then we have what we term as a moderate shoe. It's got a similar last or the similar chassis as the, the relaxed shoe. However, you can see on the, the heel, this slingshot's a little more aggressive. So it's driving the foot further into the front of the shoe. Also within the moderate shoes, we don't have a leather on these. We tend to use a synthetic and lined. So when trying these on the shop, you wanna make sure they're not too tight because they won't stretch too far. They're a little stiffer as well. This is gonna offer a little bit more support. So on steeper vertical walls, on little edges, and offer a bit more support whilst climbing. So moving on to the aggressive shoes. Now you can see quite clearly this has got quite a turned down toe. It's fairly asymmetric, so twists a little bit and a, quite an aggressive heel. And what these are great for is overhanging rock. So if you're hanging on, this helps to claw against small holes and pull the body in towards the rock, taking the weight off the arms. So really good for aggressive climbing. Rock climbing shoes can come in a lower volume version. Often it's a lady shoe, but guys can buy these as well if they've got a thinner foot. Generally you'll have a lower heel, less volume in the heel, and less volume in the forefoot. So one choice you'll have to face when you're buying a pair of shoes is whether you buy a Velcro version or a lace version. Basically the Velcro works quite well if you need to take your shoe off quite quickly. So bouldering or short routes, and people tend to buy a lace shoe if they're going to be doing longer routes, they want a more custom fit and they'll be taking the shoe off less often. So hopefully that's going to help you buy your next pair of climbing shoes, but make sure you get in store and try as many on as possible first.